Len came today and we're going to do our yoga practice together. It's exciting that we can be together and not be in the same room. Okay, so sit back in your chair, find your sit bones and ground down a bit. And then lift up to the crown of your head, taking your shoulders a bit down from your ears. And release your belly and fill it with breath. We'll close our eyes. And just take a moment to center. Allowing that breath to move in with ease. And releasing a little more tension, a little more tightness with each exhale. And then when you're ready, we'll start to open our eyes, come back. Let's move to the front of our chair. And we'll use our arms and our breath to stretch out and up and exhale out and down. Let's roll through your shoulders. And another nice deep breath using your arms out and up. A couple more rolls on your shoulders. And using the arms to reach out. Arms down by your side. Let's give them a shake. We'll do something for our hands. So let's just make some fists and we'll roll the wrists round so big circles. And then we'll come back to the center and go in the other direction. Come back to center and we'll do some open and close. Let's add the feet. So we'll open and spread the fingers at the same time, creating lots of space between your toes. And then when you squeeze your hands into fists, roll your toes down. I love that yoga takes into account all of the little places of our body that we just don't Think about much. And then release and we'll give the hands a little shake. Let's rub them together and create some warmth. Don't forget inside. And of course the tops. Feels good. Okay, let's come back in our chair. And we'll stretch one leg out, really pressing through the heel, and then we'll point and flex. Let's go to the other side, stretching it out, pressing through your heel, do a little point and flex. And then we'll go to the other side, stretch that leg out, and this time we'll make the big circles. We'll come to the center and go in the opposite direction, kind of noting which way you might feel a little tightness or tenderness. And let's go to the other side. Big circle, as big as you can make them.
and then we'll come to the center and go in the opposite direction. And release, and we'll stretch out both legs. Do a little point and flex. And then surface towards each other. And circles away from each other. And we'll do a little tap, tap, tap leak of those feet. And feet to the ground and we come to the edge of our chair. Let's stretch one leg. This is my right leg, but to you it looks like my left leg. And we'll add a reach to the ankle. And inhale it up and then Add a reach. And inhale it up. And last time we'll add a reach. And going to the other side. So this is my left leg to you. It looks like my right. It really doesn't matter. We will get to both, I promise. And using your exhale to add a reach. And once more. And then feet on the floor with our hands on our knees, we'll do a little open close, open close. Just warming up those hips. We're gonna start stretching them and opening them in a bit. Let's take one knee into your chest and we'll give you a little hug. Activate the lower part of your leg by pressing the heel down. And we'll go to the other side and activate that leg. Beautiful. Let's walk our feet nice and wide. And we'll walk them together. And walking them nice and wide. And we'll walk them together. And last time, walking them wide. And walking them together. Let's walk them wide one last time and leave them wide. I'm here at the end of my chair, the edge of my chair. And you can either reach to the underside of your chair to hold on, or you can place your hands on your thighs. We're just gonna take turns dropping the knees. If you feel a little torque in your knee, that's not a good thing. So we can even walk those feet closer together. It should be about the hip. And we'll stop on one side, the knee comes down. We're resting on the side, the inside of your foot. And if that feels okay, it's perfectly safe. But if it doesn't feel okay, come up onto the ball of your foot. Go to the other side, resting on the inside of your leg. And knees up and we'll walk those feet together. Let's stretch one leg out. Kind of brings us back to center. Okay, I'm coming back in my chair. My ankles are under my knees. Sitting up nice and straight and tall. We'll move into the cat and the cow. Remember, the cow lifts your heart. 
And if you can see from the side, you would see that my spine is curved inward. And then the cat hollows out the belly and you round yourself forward. So using an in-breath to lift and the exhale to round. See if we keep those arms straight, arcing and rounding. Let's do one more. And coming to the center, we're gonna to move to the edge of our chair, ankles under knees, and do a twist. So arms by your side, and then the right arm all the way over to the left side of your knee and the left hand on top. Inhaling up that arm and then reaching it back. Exhale and close the hand. So the inhale reaches. And the exhale closes. If you think your neck can look to the back, you can do a little stretch. But if not, always keep your chin in line with your chest. It keeps your neck safe. Let's do two more. And we'll come to the center. Just notice for a moment, feel a little off kilter. And we're taking the left arm onto the side and all the way over to the right knee and the right hand. Inhaling up at shoulder height and reaching back. You want to look over at your fingers. Your head is nice and free. If not, keep it in line with your chest. Let's do two more. And coming back to center. Let's do a little side to side. So I'm reaching to the underside of my chair with one arm and then the other arm. I'm gonna lift it right up next to my ear. Of course, you have a bend in the elbow or there's some space between your ear and your shoulder. That's fine too, do the best you can. I'm gonna open that chest and exhale over. We're using the breath to come to center and switch it up and over. Let's do one on each side. Coming back to center, we'll hold for a breath. Let's reach to the back of our chair and drop your chest forward. See if you can squeeze those shoulder blades behind you, open your chest. And then we'll release with the hands on the knees, on the thighs. So we're inhaling and opening and exhaling and coming forward. Let's make it a little more interesting. We'll inhale and open and exhale, hands together in the front and we're rounding just like the cat and the cow. 
just do five of these using your breath. Let's do one last one. Coming back to center, let's hold for a breath. Okay, sitting back in our chair, let's do a forward bend. Finding your sit bones and grounding down. We're gonna use the arms to inhale out and up. If it's okay with your head and neck, you can look up there at your fingers and we'll exhale into cactus and all the way down into forward bend. Inhaling up and to center. Let's try that again, arms by your side, inhaling out and up. Exhaling halfway, cactus and all the way down. And inhaling back to center. Let's do that one more time. Using your inhale to come to center. Let's make it a little more interesting and we'll move to the edge of your chair. Using the arms to inhale out and up. We'll exhale into cactus and all the way down. This time we'll inhale up one arm. This is my right arm. I'm doing a bit of a twist here and exhale it down. Inhaling other arm up, doing a bit of a twist here and down and out to the side up and exhale center. Okay, let's try that again. and all the way down. Starting with my right arm. And the left arm. And out to the side and all the way up. Let's exhale, namaste. Hold for a breath. One last time. And back to center, namaste. Okay, let's do one more and we'll add a half forward bend. Adding a half forward bend and a forward bend. over here. Sorry. Okay, let's stand up. I'm going to stand behind my chair. 
So standing behind my chair in mountain pose, keeping your shoulders down and back. I'm going to use my exhale to walk back into downward dog. Everything can be bent in downward dog, your knees, your elbows. And on the inhale, we'll lift. and come back into mountain pose. Again, let's use the exhale to walk back into downward dog. Again, bend everything if you're feeling a little tight or we're still warming up so you might not be quite warmed up. And again, using that down breath to walk away our dog and coming back into the mountain let's do some balance let's begin by just bringing our feet close together so as you Reduce the size of your base of support. Your body's challenged to maintain that balance. So try this in mountain. You've got your chair there if you need it. Engage your abdominals. And then we'll open those feet. With your hands on your hips, let's do a little shift from side to side. And then we'll make some circles, pressing your hips forward and back. Coming to center and then in the opposite direction. And let's come to center, locking those feet together. See if you can get your ankles to touch. Spread your toes, shoulders up, back and down. Your chair is there if you need it. Okay. Now we're gonna ease up on your knees and take, this is my right foot, and I'm gonna take it over to the left. You've got your chair there if you need it. A little bend in the knee, nice open chest. You can take your arms out to the side to help balance from one side to the other, whatever works. And then we'll come back to the center. And then walking those feet together again, reducing the base of support. You feel stable, take the opposite foot. So this is my left foot to the other side. You can keep a bend in the knee and come up onto the ball of your foot if you like. But if you can bring it down, that's okay too. Just keep a, a slight bend in the knee. No torquing of our knees. Like your chair and you've got your arms to balance you out. And then we'll walk back into mountain. Let's try what's called the palm tree. And we'll bring our feet into mountain. Spread your toes nice and wide. We're going to use the breath to lift up onto the balls of your feet. And then exhale and lift the toes. Notice if your toes fall out to the outside edges when you do that. Really keep the weight balanced under the base of the big toe. This time we'll add the palms, get it, palm tree. It's kind of cute. Inhaling up, exhaling down and lift. This is a good 
thing to do when you're in front of the kitchen counter or in line at the grocery store. People won't look at you funny. I do it all the time. See how my the weight wants to kind of roll to the outside edges. Let's see if you can keep it right under your big toes. Okay, spread your toes and come back into the mountain. Let's open our feet nice and wide. And with your hands on your hips, we'll bend one knee and then the other. And coming back to center, we're going to pivot on the right heel. This is my right foot. And I'm going to put the toes under my chair. So they're facing the wall in front of me. Torso forward. Again, if you're feeling any pain or talking in the knee, you can always close it up. Close your feet up. So I'm going to take the toes on the opposite foot and bring them halfway in. So not quite all the way, but halfway and torso is forward. I'm going to bring the hand closest to the chair, right on the chair. And the other arm right up next to my ear. Now if the elbows bend and you have some space, that's okay to do the best you can. And we're going to open the side, bend this inside elbow and open the side. Now try to keep the chest open. Nice open chest. Again, you know, be mindful of your knees and your legs. And if you have to adjust, go ahead and do that. Let's use the breath to go in and out. Inhale, lifts and exhale, opens. And then we'll use the inhale to come back to center. And we'll give the arm a break. And last one. Let's hold for a breath. And we'll turn all toes to come forward and then we'll walk the feet together in your mountain pose. I'm going to move my chair. For you, you could just turn around, but then you might not see the video. Whatever works. And we'll begin in mountain. We're going to open our feet nice and wide. Don't be afraid. Open them nice and wide because you've got your chair here. And the foot closest to the chair, I'm going to put it on the heel and put them directly under the chair. And then the opposite foot, I'm going to pivot on the heel and bring them halfway in. Again, if any pulling or anything, you can adjust your torso is facing forward. And we're going to put the hand closest to the chair, right on the chair, and use it for balance. And the opposite arm will inhale it up and exhale it over. So keep the chest open. Try not to round. And we're going to use our breath. Inhale up and exhale down. Use the exhale to open the whole side. Put a little bend in the knee if you need to. Let's do it one last time and we'll hold for a breath. I'm going to bring my toes to point forward and then walk my feet together and come back into the mountain. Let's do a similar pose 
to triangle, which is called warrior two. So warrior two, we're gonna open up our feet again. Don't be afraid to go nice and wide. Toes under the chair and the opposite toes halfway, halfway there. This time we inhale up the arms at shoulder height and you've got your chair if you need it. We're gonna use the in breath to fill your heart and exhale, bend the forward knee. Again, you've got your chair if you need it. So the inhale will straighten the legs and the exhale will bend the knee. I'm not going towards that knee. My chest is straight up and down and my heart is open. Use your breath. I think I lost count, but I think we've done about five. So let's do six and we'll hold this last one. Arms down, toes point forward and we'll walk the feet together. Coming into mountain pose. I'm going to take my chair to the other side. You have the option of moving your chair or just turning around. And we begin in the mountain pose, always, always coming back to mountain. And we're going to open our feet nice and wide. Toe under the chair. Other foot halfway, torso forward. Ease the knees if you need to. Nice open chest, let's use the breath. So take the arms up and we exhale to bend the knee. So inhale and exhale the arms down. Let's do two more. And we'll do one last one and we'll hold for a breath. Toes point forward and we'll walk the feet together. Coming back into mountain. I'm gonna turn to face the back of my chair. And after lots of standing poses, it's really nice to do a downward dog or you know, a pose that kind of brings the torso down. Because we've built some nice good energy, some nice good heat, but now we're gonna balance it out with the downward dog. Let's do one more using the exhale to walk the feet back. Easy knees. And the next time you inhale, we'll lift the chest and come back into mountain. Okay, with my fingers on the top of the chair. I'm gonna step to my right foot back. So I have my left foot forward, my right foot back, my hips are forward, my knees are bent if needed, and I'm gonna bring the chair back this way. Start with a nice open chest, lifting up, easy knees, and we're just gonna come forward from your hips. Press your hands there. Coming forward, you can start to feel the stretch in those hamstrings, in the calf muscles. And then we'll ease up and walk the feet together. A 
Let's go to the other side. So this time we'll step back. This is my left foot, right foot forward, left foot back, and hips forward, very important. Easy knees if you need them. I'm gonna pull the chair back just a bit. Start with an in-breath, and on the exhale, we'll come forward on the hips. Start to feel this stretch. When you're ready, knees up and back, and we'll walk the feet together. I'll be back in a I'm going to turn my chair around. Another good way to balance the, the energy after building heat plus expanding exercises is a forward bend. I like to use my arms and bring them out and up. You can even peek up there if not. Certainly keep your chin in line with your chest and we'll exhale and then come forward into a forward bend. I'm gonna inhale into the half forward bend. My arms are straight inside of my elbows, looking at each other. Easy knees, they're not locked backwards. And let's exhale forward bend again. This time we're gonna inhale up. Hold on to the sides of those chairs. I'm gonna step my right foot back. And I'm gonna inch my left foot just a bit forward. Again, my hips are facing forward and I'm bending the forward knee. Lift your heart. We're in a lunge pose. Let's step back this left foot to match the right foot and we'll press back into downward dog. And then as you inhale, we'll step the right foot forward and come back into a lunge on the other side. Let's inhale and step the right foot back. And we'll come to a downward dog. Inhaling, step your left foot forward. Bend the forward knee. Lunge on this side. Inhale back, downward dog. Inhale, right foot up, bend the forward knee. Going back and forth between downward dog and lunge. I believe we started here, so let's end with the right knee forward and the left foot back. Let's step both feet back into downward dog. We're gonna inhale up onto the balls of your feet and bring your hips forward into a plank pose. We're looking for a nice straight line from your shoulders to your heels. We'll do one more downward dog, do the best you can, and step the right foot forward and the left foot forward. Easy knees, let's ease down into forward bend. Let it all go. Inhaling halfway up, nice straight arms, bend those knees. And I'm gonna take my hands from the chair to the top of my thighs and use my breath to lift up into mountain pose. Open that chest. I feel like I need to do a little something for my hands. When you bear your weight on the chair, you just give them a little rub. We'll go inside the fingers and stick off. Good. Okay. I'm gonna place my chair back in the center of my mat and I'm gonna have a seat. The 
Let's take a breath here. We've been up. We've been down. We've been all around. So just taking a nice deep breath. Centering ourselves back in our chair. Let's come to the edge of our chair. With your ankles, under your knees, sitting up nice and straight and tall. Take those shoulders down and back. Let's use our arms and take a nice deep breath. This time you can have your palms looking at each other. And exhale them up and down. Let's do that again. And we'll roll those shoulders and bring them up, down, and back. Give a little squeeze of your shoulder blades. Gives you a nice open chest for breath. Okay, let's do a downward dog in the chair. We've been working on these chair poses. And I really like them. I think it makes the pose accessible to everyone. So we're sitting up nice and straight and tall. We're stretching those legs out. I'm digging my heels into the rug a bit just to help me feel safe, like I'm not going anywhere. And I have a little bend in the knee. Let's take the arms down by your side, shoulders up, down and back. We'll use the breath. This time my palms are forward and they're shoulder width apart. So up here, if you look more like this or this, that's okay too. Opening your chest, we're gonna move forward from your hip. So try not to let this happen. See if you can keep a nice open chest. We're only coming down maybe about 10 inches or so. Exhale the arms down and feet on the floor. Hold for a breath in between. And we'll do that again. Stretch those legs out. Tiny, tiny bend in the knee. Nice open chest. Breathing up your arms. My palms are forward and shoulder width apart. I'm gonna use the exhale to bring them forward into my downward dog. Nice deep breath in between. And last one, here we go, stretch it out. Sit up nice and straight and tall. Hold for a breath. Okay, next pose, we're gonna walk our feet together. This is Eagle Pose or Garudasana, Garudasana. We're gonna take, this is my left leg, looks like my right. We're gonna cross it over. I have to kind of help myself do that. So the toes and the foot on top will point them. Place your hands on your knees and sit up nice and straight shoulders down and back and breathe here let's add the arms so they're down by your side to begin and then we're going to inhale them out and up bend at the elbow into cactus and elbows come together heels of your hands fingers if this feels like too much of a stretch here just give yourself a nice big hug Crossing the forearms, a nice big hug. Or you have the option of bringing them together and just a bit down. Do the best you can. This is eagle pose. And here we go. We're going to fly our eagle. Let the eagle take flight. We're just opening your arms, your wings on the in-breath and closing on the exhale. 
Let's try it one more time. Eagle in flight. And then we'll release the elbows, release the arms. Actually, give yourself a nice big hug. Give your shoulders some love. Okay. Sitting up nice and straight and tall. I'd like to just take a moment and kind of notice what's happening. You did one side, you might feel a little off center. I'm gonna walk the feet together and this time, my right over my left. I have to help myself a little bit here. Point your toes and sit up nice and straight and tall. Shoulders up back. Let's have the arms, so down by our side, inhaling up, then those elbows into practice pose, and then we'll draw them together, elbows, heels of your hands and fingers. You can just give yourself a nice big hug, or bring them together and just drop the elbows a bit. Whichever you choose, we're going to hold for a breath. And then we'll have this eagle take flight, opening and closing, do the best you can. And one last one. And release the arms and release the legs. Let's stretch the legs out in front some space between the heels and we'll make your feet like rubber. Okay. Feet on the floor, sitting up nice and straight and tall. I'm gonna turn to the side of my chair So I'm kind of, I'm, I'm off the chair a bit. <laughs> and that's okay too. You want your feet to put the part and you want to sit up nice and straight and tall. So we're gonna take this outside leg and stretch it back. See how my toes are rolled under here. My knee is looking down at the floor. If you want to take it a little further, see if you can stretch it out. Do the best you can. If you've got this kind of thing going on, it's not gonna be good because of the angle that we're stretching. So if this is too uncomfortable, then walk it in a bit. And then we'll bring those knees together and come back to center. Coming to the other side, I'm to the side of my chair, my feet hip width apart. I'm hanging over a bit, but that's okay. I'm gonna take this outside leg and stretch it back. You have to adjust this foot to make it safe. Go ahead and do that. Remember, this is not um, good for the knee here, so. If this is too difficult to maintain, just bring it back do the best you can. And knees together and we're coming forward. Edge of your chair. Let's end today with a nice warrior pose. So we're gonna walk the feet wide. And one leg, stretch it out. Sit up nice and straight and tall. Let's bring the arms down by your side. Just adjusting my ankle under my knee. Arms down by your side. And then we're gonna inhale them out and up. It's 10 up, Sharon. Thank you. Warrior pose. Exhaling out and down and walking our feet together. You know what, let's stretch them forward and we'll create some space and make them like rubber. Bending the knees, we're gonna open the feet, 
nice and wide, nice open hips. This is my left leg, looks like my right. I'm gonna stretch it out. Keep a little bend in the knee, feel like you need to. Ankle under knee, sit up nice and straight and tall. Arms down by your side, shoulders up, back and down. Let's inhale, arms out and all the way up. Warrior pose. And release the arms out and down. And walk the feet together. Let's take one knee into your chest and give it a hug. Sit up nice and straight and tall. And other knee into your chest. Sit up nice and straight and tall. And inhaling your arms out to the side and all the way up. Let's exhale on cactus pose all the way down, forward bend. And when you're ready, walk it up and back. Try that again, out to the side, all the way up. Exhale, halfway down, cactus all the way down. And gently walk it up and back. Let's move back into our chair. And we'll do a closing relaxation seated here in your chair. <clears throat> we have the option of resting on the back of the chair, allowing your knees to fall away. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. Fill your belly with breath and let it go with a... Let's do that again. Fill up your belly. And let the breath go with the. Last time. Close your eyes. And we'll take five breaths here. See if you can fill up your body with the breath, opening up those small spaces, fingers, toes, all the way up to the top of your head, all the way down to your feet and toes. And when you're ready, open your eyes, come back. We'll bring our hands into Namaste. Rest your thumbs on your heart. With the breath in, we'll bring those thumbs and hands way up here to your forehead and back to your heart. We're creating that mind and body connection. Yoga actually means union. Yoga, yoking things together, yoking your mind and your heart, your mind and your body. Namaste. Have a wonderful Saturday.